Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, honored guests and elected officials. Welcome to the LSO Awards virtual celebration. It's going to be just like our in-person gala, except you didn't have to drive through a blizzard to join us this evening. We remain hopeful and optimistic that through the hard work of our life sciences sector, we will soon be able to gather together to celebrate once again. We're coming to you tonight from our LSO offices located in Toronto. I would like to acknowledge this land is on the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Chippewa, and the Haudenosaunee and the Wet'endat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Métis. I also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. During this virtual event, there's an opportunity for networking and an opportunity to visit our virtual exhibitor booths, and we would encourage you all to do so. For those of you that have ordered registration kits, they will be either delivered this evening or they will be coming soon. I would like to thank our sponsors, our presenting sponsors, Sanofi and AstraZeneca, our premium event sponsors, 360 Public Affairs, Pfizer, and Antibody Healthcare Communications. Our event sponsors, the University of Toronto Scarborough Arts and Science Co-op Program, the University of Waterloo, PHC Corporation of North America, and our table sponsors, GSK, Lumera Ventures, the City of Mississauga, and BLG. And I'd also encourage you all to visit their booths at our virtual exhibitor hall. There will also be a blind auction in support of Sanofi Biogenius Canada. I'd encourage you all to go to the auction. It's a blind auction, so submit what you think might be the winning bid. All proceeds, again, go to support Sanofi Biogenius Canada. It's now my pleasure to introduce a message from our Premier, the Honourable Doug Ford. Good evening. It's an absolute pleasure to be part of this year's annual awards presentation hosted by Life Sciences Ontario. I want to congratulate all the award winners for making valuable contributions to the advancement of research and innovation in your fields. As we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the discovery of insulin, Ontario's Life Sciences community continues to step up in so many ways, including playing an important role in our response to COVID-19 pandemic. Whether it was providing medical supplies and equipment for our frontline workers or advancing COVID-19 testing and vaccine research, you've all been absolute champions. Thank you for everything you're doing and enjoy your evening. Thank you, Premier, for those kind remarks. We would now like to take this opportunity to thank all of the frontline workers that have helped during this fight against COVID-19. Life Sciences Ontario would like to thank all the frontline workers who have been keeping us safe during the COVID-19 pandemic. Healthcare workers, first responders, grocery workers, workers in the food supply chain, public transit operators, Researchers who worked hard to find a cure for COVID and continue to do so with other diseases. I've always been proud to be part of the life sciences sector but watching how our community has responded to the COVID-19 crisis has been even more inspiring. We have demonstrated through science and innovation that our sector can solve the biggest challenges facing our society today. This is true of COVID-19, but it's also true of other health challenges, climate change, food security, and our future economic prosperity. Life Sciences has the potential to do all of this but we need the same all-hands-on-deck approach that allowed us to battle COVID-19. That's why for so long, we've been asking governments at all levels for a coordinated and aligned life sciences strategy. This past summer, we joined 18 other organizations across Canada in an open letter calling for the Prime Minister to develop a life sciences strategy. And we were heard. 
Soon after, the federal government announced its biomanufacturing and life sciences strategy, which includes important elements that we promoted, such as an all of government approach to aligning health and economic policies, and an agile and progressive regulatory environment that supports a competitive investment climate in Canada. For now, these are just words on paper, but this was an important first step. It's now up to LSO and you, our life sciences members and partners, to continue to champion this strategy and ensure its implementation. This will be a key priority for LSO as we head into 2022. 2022 also marks another election year, this time in our province of Ontario. We will continue to engage all parties on the importance of a provincial life sciences strategy leading up to the election, and post-election, we will work with the elected government to ensure life sciences continues to be a priority sector for Ontario's health and economic security. LSO will continue to be an outspoken champion of life sciences. We will continue to generate credible evidence to strengthen our collective narrative, and we will continue to showcase the incredible positive impacts of our science, our technologies, and our people. We will also continue to promote the principles of inclusion, diversity, equity, and accessibility throughout our organization and our community to demonstrate real leadership for meaningful change. It's my sincere privilege to represent the life sciences sector in Ontario, and I thank each and every one of you for your continued support. Speaking of thank yous, there's a few acknowledgements that I would like to make. First, I want to thank my team at LSO, Brian, Andy, Chalani, Elizabeth, Cindy, and Rob. It's an absolute honor to work with you, and I cannot thank you enough for your dedication and passion to life sciences. I want to also recognize the LSO Board of Directors and our Chair, Mark Smithies, who you will hear from later in our program. This is a volunteer board that dedicates a tremendous amount of their own time to LSO. Thank you all for your support. And thanks to all of our corporate sponsors and members who support us throughout the year. We are a fully member-funded organization, so it's only through your support that we are able to do what we do. So thank you all for being here and supporting LSO. It means a lot. It's now my pleasure to introduce the 2021 LSO awardees. Congratulations to our volunteer awardee, Ann Woods, our community service awardee, Eugenia Duadu Addy, our Life Sciences Company of the Year, Vive Crop Protection, and our LSO Leadership Awardee, Deputy Minister John Kelly. The 2021 Volunteer Award recipient is an active participant in the life sciences community and adds energy to life sciences initiatives and events in Ontario. It is our pleasure to announce Anne Woods, Managing Director of the Life Sciences and Healthcare Practice for Silicon Valley Bank, as this year's recipient for the 2021 Volunteer Award. At SVB, Anne is responsible for leading the bank's efforts in the life sciences sector across Canada and strengthening the bank's position with leading edge companies in Canada's life science sector. In 2018, Anne joined LSO's board of directors and has volunteered for several committees, including the LSO breakfast events and has co-chaired the awards gala. In 2019, Anne spearheaded an entrepreneurship mentorship program partnering LSO, SVB, TAP, and UTEST. The mentorship program brought startups a customized program that met their organization's individual needs and challenges, and at the same time encouraged life sciences executives to give back and support innovators in the community. Through this initiative, LSO was able to continue towards our mission of fostering commercial success within Ontario's life sciences sector. Well, I'm, I'm really honoured uh, to be the recipient of the Volunteer of the Year Award from Life Sciences Ontario and grateful um, because really I'm one of many people who volunteer in this sector and uh, it's uh, it is so nice to be uh, acknowledged for those efforts amongst such an amazing peer group. I do feel like I've 
gotten more out of my my work with Life Sciences Ontario than I've actually given, which makes this a little bit of a strange award. I've I've expanded my knowledge, I've expanded my network, um, I've met so many great scientists and founders, um, and I've I've had an opportunity really to to work with. Um, a community of people that are always willing to give their time and their experience and their capital uh, to make sure that the um, ideas and science that are being developed in Ontario uh, make their way to uh, to patients in, in Canada. I'd like to thank um, a few people, uh, Mark Smithies for recruiting me to Life Sciences Ontario, Jason Field for his great leadership, uh, Rafi and Hassan from TAP for helping seed the idea of the mentorship program, uh, where we were really able to um, build bridges between uh, the Life Science Ontario membership and University of Toronto Early Stage Technologies, um, really uh, building connections that help uh, that help early stage founders benefit from the experience of big pharma execs, but allowing big pharma execs to uh, experience the thrill of, of new science. So it's it's been a, a wonderful experience. And to all of those people that have participated in the program, I really do share the award um, with you. So finally, I, I also want to say that I'm humbled by being in the same group with John, Michael, Eugenia, and Darren. Um, really inspirational and very motivating for me to uh, continue um, to work hard to develop the ecosystem and maybe be back here in 10 years winning the Lifetime Achievement Award. The 2021 Community Service Award recipient is an individual who has made extraordinary contributions towards building Ontario's life sciences sector. It is our pleasure to announce Dr. Eugenia Duadu Addy, CEO of Vision of Science Networking for Learning Inc., as this year's recipient of the Community Service Award. Dr. Addy is an educator, speaker, community organizer, and her goal is to make a long-lasting impact in communities through STEM engagement and in turn allow youth to unlock their potential. Vision of Science is a charitable organization that aims to advance the educational achievements and positive development of youth from low-income and marginalized communities through meaningful engagement in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields and research. Having grown up in a low-income community, Dr. Addy maintains a strong connection to her local and global communities. Dr. Addy is a respected role model, a strong advocate, and an inspiring teacher. I am thrilled to accept the Life Sciences Ontario Community Service Award. It is a huge honor, and I would like to thank everyone who has supported me up to this point. I'd love to thank my husband, Joseph, and my son, Josiah. I'd also like to thank my whole entire staff team, the staff and board of Visions of Science, who have always been a constant and consistent support every aspect and along the way. I'd also like to thank the entire community of children, youth, and parents that Visions of Science works with and represents. You are the change that we hope to see in the world and I am so excited to see all of the incredible work that you will do. Thank you so much Life Sciences Ontario for this incredible recognition and I also want to thank Bruce Seat for nominating me for this award. The 2021 Life Sciences Company of the Year recipient is an Ontario-based company that has demonstrated strong leadership and achieved significant milestones in advancing innovative life sciences technology towards commercial success. It is our pleasure to announce Vive Crop Protection Inc. as the 2021 award recipient for the Life Sciences Company of the Year. Vive Crop Protection creates precision chemistry to expand the horizon of precision agriculture. Improving the environmental footprint of agricultural practices is critical in solving climate change. 
improving sustainability, and accomplishing the UN's sustainable development goals. A major component of that is improving the impact of pesticides, both traditional chemical pesticides and enabling the next generation of biologically derived products. Vive is the first company making more targeted and sustainable chemical pesticides that improves the profitability of growers and reduces the environmental impact. Thank you on behalf of Vive Crop Protection for the award of Life Sciences of Ontario Company of the Year. We're really excited to have received this award. There's so many incredible companies in this space in Ontario and the recognition of being a leader in this space is awesome. I think it's also the first company to be recognized by Life Sciences of Ontario uh, in ag and ag tech. And that's just such an important industry that we're incredibly proud to be part of uh, and hugely impactful here in Canada. I'd like to recognize the team that got us here. Uh, Vive turned 15 in March this year and we've had an enormous number of people that have been part of our success. One of our core values is that we're passionate about building something real and uh, everyone on the team should feel proud of what we've built and, what, uh, and uh, in the future that we have in front of us. So thank you again. The Life Sciences Leadership Award is a special recognition given by the LSO Board of Directors to recognize individuals or organizations that have demonstrated exceptional leadership through their contributions to the life sciences sector. The recipient for the 2021 Leadership Award is Dr. John Kelly, Deputy Minister for the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs. Dr. Kelly has demonstrated exceptional leadership through his contributions to the life sciences sector over the progression of his career. Dr. Kelly has an extensive background working with entrepreneurs and innovation in human health and life sciences, agriculture, food, and bioeconomy sectors in domestic and international markets. With focus on innovation development and implementation, actively advancing products and technologies. He has a wealth of experience in the private and public sector and has held various executive positions with startups, venture capital, multinational companies and not-for-profits. Dr. Kelly was an active LSO board member from 2007 to 2020. During his time at LSO, he helped transition the biotech initiative, TBI, to the Life Sciences Ontario organization that we are today. He has been a strong leader and advocate for the agri-food sector and has made an indelible mark on LSO's approach to an inclusive and diverse life sciences sector. I would like to thank Life Sciences Ontario for this leadership award. Getting recognized by your peers is truly humbling and the people associated with the LSO board are incredible leaders in their own right. I am so pleased to have been involved with this group over the past many years. I've been fortunate to have opportunities to be in leadership positions in the private sector, the not-for-profit sector, and also in the public sector. First and foremost, none of these would have been possible without the support and sacrifices of family, and they are the most important thing to me. Life sciences have so much to offer the next generation. The ability to, to affect change in things like healthcare, the environment, energy, bioeconomy, agriculture, food, and other areas like mining, high-tech, research and development are but a few of the areas where people can thrive. Supportive areas, including legal, accounting, investment, and yes, government, are all open for those interested in the life sciences. It's incredibly inclusive. There are also lots of leadership opportunities. Whether it's in the private or public sectors, I would encourage people to become involved, support the sector, find that area that you are passionate about and find the space to lead it. I am so pleased that I was asked to become involved with LSO by Grant Tipler before it was LSO. In fact, it was the uh, Toronto Biotechnology Initiative at the time. And also working with the many board members over the years. Through Life Sciences Ontario, I've been able to meet and work with so many wonderful leaders, and there are too many to name. Just know that I really appreciate your candor, your knowledge, your experience, your wisdom, but most of all, I really appreciate the collegial approach to things and your friendship. Leaders like Grant, Lauren Meikle, Paul Lucas, and Mark Smithies, all board chairs, have been terrific to interact with. 
and all have different leadership styles and approaches. Thank you for allowing me to work with you. I also want to express my thanks to Jason Field for his continuing leadership of LSO, for appreciating the value of the many different facets of life sciences, and in particular, recognizing the value of agriculture, food, and other life sciences players. Life Sciences Ontario is definitely enriched by Jason's present and continuing leadership. I'd also like to thank the LSO staff and the people who work in the office. They are really the drivers of Life Sciences Ontario with, with the many events that uh, happen. Again, I thank you for this leadership award and uh, I think you should support as much as you can Life Sciences Ontario. Congratulations to all of our award winners. And I'd encourage you all to stick around for the networking and visit and meet some of our awardees. A thank you to all of our sponsors once again, and a reminder, please visit our blind auction in support of the Sanofi Biogenius Canada. We will now move to our virtual networking session. Please join us in 30 minutes from now for the second half of our program. Life sciences is a broad sector that includes research, development and manufacturing operations in addition to developing diagnostics, pharmaceuticals and biopharmaceuticals, medical devices, agriculture and agri-foods, plus much more. As an increased demand for pharmaceuticals, medical technology, and other healthcare products continues to rise, emerging technologies, including AI, cognitive technologies, automation, and computer power, are driving significant advancements within the life sciences sector. This will enhance healthcare not only in Ontario and across our country, but also worldwide. Let's take COVID-19 as an example. The pandemic put a spotlight on how life sciences impacts our innovation economy. Life Sciences Ontario advocates for change in policies, especially those that can enhance Canadians' access to medicines, innovation, research and development, and its substantial impact on the Canadian economy and Canadian health. Life Sciences Ontario, or LSO, is a fully member-funded, not-for-profit association. We are a small but mighty team committed to our mission to support all companies in Ontario's life sciences sector. We do this through extensive advocacy and education. We do also brag about our amazing homegrown innovation locally, nationally and internationally. LSO values our member companies who are the ultimate leaders in life sciences, biopharmaceuticals, agriculture and agri-foods, and medical technologies. We welcome everyone, including life science professionals, universities, research institutes, and industry service providers. LSO does all of this and more because the sector needs access to funding, plus all of the necessary tools and support to truly succeed in research, development and commercialization. We cannot do this alone. We need to collaborate to be successful, and there is no better time for our industry than now. That is what LSO is all about. We have given you some great reasons to consider LSO as your next association. How about attending a complimentary breakfast meeting or event to see for yourself how LSO can support you, your business and or your educational path through a truly wonderful network of the best and brightest in the industry. Don't just take our word for it. Find out more about Life Sciences Ontario and how we can work together by visiting lifesciencesontario.ca. 